Now we'll take a look at one of the main things you'll want to do when you first load up Hiox Chess Explorer. That's just entering a game and then saving it to a database. Well, I've already loaded up the database that I called My Games that I created in one of the earlier videos. You can see at the moment, if you look in the Game Explorer and in the notation, there's nothing actually in that database. It's a completely empty database. So how do we go about entering games? So for instance, if you've played a game down at your local chess club, you've written it down on a piece of paper, you brought it back, you're in front of your computer, you want to enter that into the to, to Hiox Chess Explorer. How do you go about doing that? Well, the simplest, most straightforward way is simply just to enter the moves on the board here. And we can do that in a variety of ways. You can pick, you can click on the piece, hold it down and drag to where you want it to go. Or you'll also notice that when you uh, highlight a particular piece, another square, you can see at the moment the E5 square is highlighted in yellow, which means if you just click once, the piece will jump to that square. You can actually cycle through that as well by clicking the right key. So at the moment, the highlighted square is uh, F3, sorry, the right mouse button, highlighted F3, but you can scroll through all the different squares that it can jump to using the right mouse button. Click the left one and it jumps to that position. You can also use the Openings Explorer to uh, enter the moves. So say we wanted Knight C6, you can click on that and uh, say Bishop C4 now, for instance. So if this was the game that we were entering, that's simply how we would enter the moves. Now to save, the important button is this one, which appears as soon as you start creating a game, as soon as you start entering it. It's the Save Modified Game. So you just click on that once, it brings up the Save Game dialog, and here you get a series of tags where you can enter information about your game. I would suggest at the very minimum you enter at least player names for the white and black player just so that you've got an idea uh, when you're looking at the database what games are actually in it but you can enter as uh, little or as much information as you like so if we entered uh, my name for that one so you might say you might enter a full name you can enter the ratings here uh, and the black player could be um, anybody at all um, and you can enter a rating for them you can also enter details of what event you're playing in, where exactly that happened. The date is something useful. You can just uh, enter the date by hand. But if you click this button just by the date, you'll see it brings up a little calendar and you can select any date you like. So um, we can pick one there at random. You can enter round information, ECO uh, code, that's the Encyclopedia of Chess Openings code if you know it. Um, even more uh, date information and the result of the game. Of course, this one, that one's a win for white, draw, win for black, uh, and that's no result if you're not entering it with a result. There's also a few other buttons you can use as extra tags information, which uh, we can look at in another video, or also use last header. So if you've been saving several games uh, with all with the same information, just click that button and it'll enter that information again. But anyway, once you've entered everything that you want to enter, all you simply do, click OK. Now you'll see here in the Games Explorer window, in the pane, should I say, there's the game. Playing the white piece as Nick, playing the black piece as Fred. You can click on that game, that'll open the game, and you can play through it in the notation or on the board. It's really, really very simple indeed to enter a game and save it using Hiarx Chess Explorer.